What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, That Singer Reactions, coming to y'all. Special Patreon request by one of my favorite people, Dr. Cab. Shout out to you. This is your request of Funny Farnham, John Farnham. He is he is literally funny. Like, and he don't even try to be. Like, he just literally naturally just cracks a joke. He has like comedic he has like co like comedic timing. Like when he actually cracks jokes. Like he could be a comedian. Um I really hope too John Farnham is doing like really, really good because you know, um I don't really know many, many updates on what's going on um with them. You know what I'm saying? But I know that I think that he's doing well. I think that was the last update that I heard. Um, you know what I'm saying? But wouldn't it be good to hear from him? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like if he was um talking or something like that. See, he's the type of person that don't want like a lot of shine and stuff like that. That's what I always think. So, um, he's not really keen on like probably like putting himself out there. That's the reason why I'm here. <laughs> Make sure that people in the United States understand who this man is. Um, so don't forget my Patreon is in the description where you get exclusive access, early content, special requests, PayPal cash app is, is open for a new request. So you can send your request on in. your boy has a PO box. Feel free to send me whatever that you want to send me there as well. Um, I have a second YouTube channel called hear me out. Feel free to check it out. Click at the uh, bottom of the description. You'll see it there. And on my homepage, you'll see it there as well. Now, let's jump into this. And stuff is transparent because, like I say, YouTube, they already hit me with on my live. So, those of you who are in my live, I got hit with a YouTube community strike warning. Meaning that my channel is still safe, but I got a warning. Um, and I don't know why it says that, uh, usually when you get a YouTube community strike, not just a copyright strike, but a community strike is because somebody told you to like, you did something without somebody's permission and they repeatedly told you not to do it. That didn't happen in my life. Nobody told me not to like, so I don't know what happened. I don't know if it was the fact that I got. Like a video got blocked more than twice. So that's what the problem was. I don't know. But anyway, the transparency is for to make sure that I'm safe and guarded. So what the hell? All I'll need is a PowerPoint and then you'll watch me wage war against the twin. What is this? He was on the TV show? The PowerPoint, and then you'll watch me wage war against the twin enemies. Demon dust and deep set dirt. Oh, God. <laughs> Here's the TV one. We won't be needing that. <laughs> this, okay, well, now it makes sense. He was on a TV show? And a very good actor. All I'll need is a PowerPoint, and then you'll watch me wage war against the twin enemies. Demon dust and deep set dirt. Oh, God. <laughs> deep set dirt. <laughs> TV one, we won't be needing that. I <laughs> know is. This country is in a mess. That's the first sensible thing you've said. <laughs> now, madam, this particular model comes complete with 17 different attachments. And if you'll be patient with me for one moment, I'll show you how they all work. One by wonderful one. <laughs> I think things are on the verge of getting out of control. Clear out before I turn the hose on you and get those... <laughs> The band have been. He is a like he's really an actor. Nobody has mentioned this to me once that he actually does this for real. Please, sir, please, you're interfering with my attachments. The band have been absolutely unbelievable. I, I, I really want to thank those people very much. I love them very much, and they are among the finest musicians and singers you can find. In fact, David Hirschfelder, who works with me often, is doing the music for tonight, and I think he's done a great job. The crew, all the people I work with. There, David! Um, 
Hang on, it wasn't Robbie Wellington's clip, it was Age of Reason. I'm sorry, I thought you said Two Strong Hearts. I was... Wish I was dead. I didn't want to start. <laughs> strong Hearts. I... Hang on, it wasn't Robbie Wellington's clip, it was Age of Reason. I'm sorry, I thought you said Two Strong Hearts. I was... <laughs> Wish I was dead. I didn't want to start. <laughs> Somebody said he's close down there. It's no, like actually, he was. Years, <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said he was close. Somebody said he's close down there. It's no, like actually, it was. Years, <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Stephen Priest. Uh, I'll start again. Thank you so let's much. Let's do it from there. Yeah, let's yeah. do it from there. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, John Farnham. Congratulations. Look, just do what Michael Cole did many years ago. Just treat this as a dress rehearsal. I've seriously considered it. Stephen Priest produced the clip. <laughs> and Steve Hopkins filmed it. They did a wonderful job. As did Robbie Wellington on... on, on uh, <laughs> two Strong yeah. Hearts. Have to get David again, too. And David Hirschfeller yeah. actually was also yes, there. <laughs> because he's, this is sort of deja vu. I do apologise. It's the, it's the hair. It's taken all the brain food out. Just... <laughs> Hi, John Farnham here. I've been cooking up something really special for you guys, and here it is. I've, I've seen Cluxton smoke this stuff. It says Italian herbs, but I don't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to say, stop playing. He did not say that. Why does he look like Donald Trump right here? That's scary. Apparently Johnny Farnham's on here this evening. Is he any good? <laughs> apparently he's got a little chubby in his later years, but apparently it's quite funny. But the voice ain't never <laughs> so went I nowhere. I to see what he does. It's... The voice is probably gone by now, though. You know he's getting on, don't you? I hate the shower in my room at the hotel. Oh, my God, isn't it shocking? It's terrible, so I bought a new shower. So I didn't put it in the bag. Yes, I did. Here it is. Oh, no, fish sack sucker. You gotta be so fun to be around. I guarantee you even in the hospital he was cracking jokes. I guarantee you even in the hospital he was cracking jokes. Like, he has such a funny personality. Like, not only, like I said, is he a phenomenal singer, and I mean phenomenal singer. Like I said before, I really believe that the Grammys that recognizes, like, Jamaican artists, um, now they're starting to do that. They should, like, worldwide talent, international talent. He definitely should get a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award. Because he is a big deal um, in Australia. And they've covered a very, very big hit by two American artists, Sam and Dave. Which is something that's wrong with my baby, him and Jimmy Barnes. Like, I just hate the lack of attention that icons and legends get all over the world. We need to pay more attention to stuff like that. Because I don't want him to pass away. And then all of a sudden the Grammys is like, we're honoring John Farnham. Like, do it while he here. Like, ugh. You have a real shower. <laughs> this is a shower, Rose. This sucks. This doesn't. I come in here and just put this bloody thing on. So that's that. You don't have to turn the water off. That's all silly. Better tap on tape to stop that leak. <laughs> he said you don't have to turn the water off. That's all silly. <laughs> you feel like a finger. Oh, he could. Oh, you're making this man. I may leave this for them. I now have a really droopy shower. <laughs> Johnny's new shower. With no leaks, you might add. This, that's fire. This, from up here, that's nothing. No leaks here. No leaks here. No leaks here. And watch this. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that feeling uh, wasn't very pleasant. Might have been just after the operation. What's... Oh! 
The operation? Yes, yeah. Tell us about the operation. I, I had a minor operation. I'm over 40, you can guess what it was. During the album. Yeah, I'm shooting blind. <laughs> what was it? Vasectomy. During the album. The operation? I, I had a minor operation. I'm over 40, you can guess what it was. During the album. Yeah, I'm shooting blind. <laughs> he said, yeah, I'm shooting blanks. <laughs> I'm over 40. The feeling uh, wasn't very pleasant. Might have been just after the operation. What? Oh! The operation? Yes, yeah. Tell us about the operation. I, I had a minor operation. I'm over 40, you can guess what it was. During the album. Yeah, I'm shooting blind. <laughs> what was it? Vasectomy. <laughs> I said vasectomy on television. Say it again. What was the... Um... <laughs> and, and, no, uh, I, I actually had, had the minor operation. I wish I'd have stuck with that, really. Um, during the album. <laughs> And, during uh, the album? Yes, during the album, and, and I waited for a couple of weeks for it to settle down, because it's not a very pleasant thing to go through. <laughs> yeah, and, is uh, it a minor operation? Well, yeah, though, that's what the guy told me who did Before it. Before you went his name, was, uh, his name was Cleve. <laughs> Dr. Cleve? Dr. Cleve, or Mr. Cleve, I think, you know, it's sort of more than... Yeah. And, and, because uh, I went in and he, and he said, oh, you don't look like the type, because I was being really cool, you know, yeah, Cleve, I'm here and I'm going to have my operation. <laughs> Lovely man. And um, I'm standing there with my trousers down around my knees. He's kind of like, and I'm thinking. <laughs> and I actually, so, I'm, he said I'm standing around with me trousers. I love Australian accents, bro. But he is, he, I don't know, John, John is funny, bro. Like, I, like, it's crazy when you look at this and realize that he's a singer. Like, because he's like that. Yeah, Cleavy, I'm here and I'm going to have me other <laughs> Lovely, man. And um, I'm standing there with my trousers down around my knees. He's kind of like, and I'm thinking, <laughs> and I actually said, I said, shouldn't you kiss me while you're doing this? <laughs> man, so, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I actually said it. And and uh, he just gave me a filthy look, you know. Yeah. But but uh, he said, oh, you don't look like the type that's going to leap off at the table at me. So I'll, I'll, we'll do it with a local. And I said, yeah, yeah, no problem. So shifted a bit. <laughs> and uh, I'm laying on the table, you know, covered in the sheet with one of them backless things, which is a bit nippy if you're walking yeah. around. But a rather attractive little thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I hate them there. things. And uh, he said, how do you feel? And Gillian actually got, oh, maybe I shouldn't tell well, you. Well, Gillian did that. No, no, Gillian wasn't in there. Jillian's in no, there, no, isn't Jillian, she? Jillian she's in me. there. Yeah, she. Oh, she's in there, all right. <laughs> she. Uh, <laughs> what? And in no, there, no, isn't Jillian, she? Jillian she's in me. there. Yeah, she. Oh, she's in there, all right. <laughs> she. No problems whatsoever. <laughs> and she, she actually got me a movie that she thought, you know, the night before, because I was a bit toey about it. The night before, and she got me um, Great Balls of Fire, which. <laughs> 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 yes, uh, and she got me. Um, Great balls of fire, which is. <laughs> 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 yes, uh, where, um... Although, although I had I, an interesting thing, an interesting thing happened the other day. We were up in Surface Paradise, doing some work up there at the, 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 the Leagues Club. And I decided to take a bus into Brisbane. Yeah, it was quite funny at the time. And there was this Irish woman standing at the bus stop, as it happens. And, excuse me, but this is a true story. Her left breast was exposed. Now, it was pretty hot up there, and the sun was streaming, and I didn't want to get a burn or anything, so <laughs> I said, Par pardon me, madam, your, your left breast is exposed. She said, well, no, I've left the baby on the bus. <laughs> but, no, no, <laughs> no, no. True story, seriously. <laughs> Bro. He is such a comedian. He is really funny. Like, for real. He is really funny. John is never... Like, I don't even know how to critique him. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't find any... Like, you know, usually I might be like, eh, that was alright, or something, something. Like, he doesn't do anything, like, wrong to me. Like, I just don't get it. Like, he is... He is damn near as good as an actor as he is a singer. Like, because, you know, most comedians, they write their stuff. He is just, like, going right off the top of his head. You know what I'm saying? Like, I love that. That was a good one. That was a good saying, um, uh, Dr. Cat. Thank y'all so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, follow me on my social media platforms. Everything is in the description to the next video. Peace.